Hi everyone. Well, it's that time of the semester. It's time for midterms. Yay! This week you will be taking your midterm exam for Introduction to Sociology. That exam will cover information discussed in chapters one through six. I encourage you all to take the opportunity to review those chapters uh, and even look over the PowerPoint slides before you begin the exam. Also this week, I have opened up the folder for your final paper or your final project. And I want to take a few moments and discuss your final paper with you because you will be writing a paper unlike any other research paper. So the first part of your paper is all going to be information that you have researched in popular magazines or um, newspaper articles, uh, information about your perception of a social problem. Now this part of your paper is going to be no longer than three pages. When you're writing the information about the social problem as it currently exists or issues that have been taking place in society, I want you to be mindful that you are responsible to follow APA formatting when writing this part of your paper. If you're going to be using direct quotes, you must cite them appropriately. You must have appropriate in-text citations for anyone else's ideas other than your own. If you're not certain about APA formatting, I encourage you to visit the library's college, I'm sorry, the college's library page, excuse me, by accessing that through MyPeak clicking the library page, and then click Student Resources. When you click Student Resources, you will be then led to um, a page of wonderful resources that will assist you in writing your paper. In the left column, you'll see a heading for APA formatting. If you just click APA, that'll take you directly to the English Department of Purdue University. And there you will have specific information regarding APA formatting. That will include in-text citations, your references, even a sample paper that you can use uh, when you're writing your final paper. Now also, at the end of your uh, first three pages of this paper, I want you to make sure that you include in there information regarding the sociological perspective that you are examining this social problem by. Now remember, your sociological perspective can only be one of three. Structural functional, symbolic interaction, or social conflict. With social conflict, you can break that down to gender stratification or race conflict. But those are the only perspectives that you are permitted to use in this sociology class when writing your final paper. So that's the first part of your paper. First three pages is all going to be about a specific social issue that is kind of making you scratch your head, kind of making you wonder why is this taking place in society. And you're researching that information and you're giving me a synopsis of the social problem. Now the remainder of your paper is going to be comprised of annotated bibliographies. The annotated bibliographies must come from peer-reviewed or scholarly articles. You must receive these articles, again, either from EBSCOhost or any other search engine that will give you a peer-reviewed or a scholarly article. It cannot be an article from a popular magazine or newspaper. So please do not let your annotated bibs for the final paper be something that is not meeting assignment requirements you are required to have five annotated bibs. And those annotated bibs must have information that is going to be pertaining to the sociological perspective that you identified in your first part of the paper. So make sure that when you're reading your uh, articles that you're choosing for your annotated bibs, that it makes sense and that it justifies the perspective that you identified in the beginning of your paper. Your final paper should be saved as your first initial last name underscore final paper and uploaded on the proper link uh, for grading. Now, after you're watching this video, if you have any specific questions or concerns, please feel free to contact me and I will get back to you as soon as possible. All right, everybody, it's midterms. Time to buckle down, time to hit the grindstone, and make sure that you do well on this midterm exam. Also time for you to think about your final paper and the topic that you want to focus on. It's week seven, good people. We have eight weeks to go. 
Good luck on your midterm exam. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me by email. We'll talk with you soon.